Hey guys, MC Stu here. Today we're gonna talk about keybinds and orientating your trays. I've had a few questions uh, in the comments about how to rotate, to manipulate and move those around. Um, so I'm just gonna go over that briefly and also uh, walk you guys through setting up keybinds. Um, there's a software that uh, that we use to do that, to generate it. It's uh, You can do it manually through the game with some of the coding lines uh, in the chat box, um, but using the software is just much, much more easier. Um, so I'll show you how to set up a basic one. I'll leave a link in the description for this software, and then I'll also have the keybind file that I'm making today in the Discord server under STO and software, if you just wanna go ahead and grab that and import it along with this software. Um, otherwise, you can play with the software. There's quite a bit of stuff that you can do with it. To be honest, I haven't really dove real far into it um, in getting ready to make this video. I did play with it some and it, it's got just a ton of stuff in there. So um, I definitely encourage you to uh, check it out and, and, and take a look at all it has to offer. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, so the software is STO Keybinds. Again, I'll have a link down in the description. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, so what we're going to do, um, and, and let me start with there is a help tab here, help videos. Uh, let's see, where's the one that I clicked on? It wasn't that, I clicked on help right here. Let me move this over into view. I clicked on basic and it walks you through pretty much what I'm gonna show you here. So um, it's it's nice that it has that in it. Um, it's a nice little refresher. It's been a while since I've used it. So, uh, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a key bind to activate my tray seven. Um, so I can keep abilities going as much as possible uh, that I want going um, on that particular tray by tapping the space bar. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a key and once we add the key, we're gonna go ahead and select where it says none, and we're gonna tell it what key we want, and that is gonna be spacebar. Now we wanna add an action to that, so we're gonna hit plus, we're gonna select where it says no action, and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna say execute row. Find that. execute full tray and that's what it is okay execute full tray and then we're going to do row seven i'm actually going to add a second one on here i also want my space bar to activate my weapons um, this personal preference uh, you can set this up however you would like uh, by default the space bar bar does that so i'm, I'm just going to add this back in to to keep that the same if i didn't i believe it'll override what the default is and just activate row seven but i want it to activate my weapons as well uh, so we're going to go fire all weapons all right okay so we have um space bar selected we have two actions first being execute full tray tray seven and fire all weapons. Uh, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start with saving the file. So let's go ahead and save that. So I'm gonna put it on my desktop here and we're just gonna call this test two since I already have a test one. So if you start a new tune, um, you'll have that file saved. You will have to do this per every tune. Um, so I've saved it and uh, we're gonna now say that we have this, now that we have this set up, um, I believe you want the game up and running when you do this. I'm, I'm not sure whether you can do it without the game running, at least the creation part probably, but I always do it with the game running. So I have the game up in the background here and we're gonna create the keybind file. And what that did is that just put these keybinds edited the game file so that uh, these keybinds are now in the game. So now we need to tell the game to use that custom keybind file that we just made. So we're gonna click this button here, copy to clipboard, um, clipboard, and that's gonna take this command right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into game. Now this has to be done in space. You cannot do this on the ground. So you need to be in space uh, when you do this. Um, if you're gonna make ground keybinds, you need to be on ground when you do that. And we're just gonna come into chat here and we are going to control V, paste it in there, and we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Now I'm gonna tap the space bar and we'll see I have row seven over here. And that starts to activate our abilities. 
And it's that straightforward. You can make it any row you want. I just picked row seven. I don't, I don't know, just because <laughs> it's not a row that I normally use. So uh, that's Keybind. It's pretty straightforward. Again, I'll have a link for the software in the description and the Keybind file that I just made. Uh, I'll label it uh, more appropriately. Um, you know, something like activate spacebar, um, row seven, tray seven, um, fire weapons or something like that. But it'll be in the Discord under uh, Star Trek Online and software if you want to grab it from there, if you don't want to. Uh, mess around with the software making it uh, yourself you will need to and, and why don't we look at that if if you do decide you know i don't want to make it i just want to get the file what you'll do is you'll download the software still you'll download that file and then you're going to say open file and you're going to go to wherever you downloaded that to so we saved it to the desktop and you're going to click on whatever i make that file name uh, you'll click on it and you'll say open and that will go ahead and put this generated in here and you'll just say create keybind file, copy to click, uh, clipboard, and then you'll go ahead and paste it in your chat. So th that's how you can do it just with the file without having to create your own. And I am spawning mines like crazy, so let's stop that. Uh, let's take a quick look at organizing our, our trays. Um, this is all personal preference. Some people like to put it up on the side over here and do all kinds of different things. Uh, some people will scroll up. You can only have four trays here. Some people will scroll up with the, the top tray and you know, set up their, their tray seven here, and then they scroll it back down, and they actually don't see that tray seven. Um, I don't like that. I like to be able to view what is on cooldown and what's not. So I keep my tray visible to myself so I know what's happening here. Um, so when, when you start the game, it's, uh, I believe it's just one row. Um, so if you click on this button here, um, you can add additional rows. So you, okay, you can go all the way up to 10 rows. So I like to have four. That's just me. You can do more or less orientate that however you want. Um, one of the main questions I get is how to get this extra one and how to orientate this one here. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to press F12 to bring us into that. Um, and what we would have here, and unfortunately, do I want to delete this? You know, I'm just going to delete it. I'll fix it. Okay. So without having that there, there's going to be a new button on your current tray and you're going to click that. It's going to pop up over on the edge. I just pulled it back into a site here. And it normally starts vertically as well. So let's make it like that so we can see. So this pops up. I, I clicked what I wanted here. You can do as many trays as you would like. Um, I've had a weird issue where I can't make four. Like if I change this four right here, it changes it right here. And I don't know why that's happening. Um, that's why row four is repeated uh, on both of these bars. Um, so when you do this the first time and you hit that new button, you're going to have just one row here. I believe it'll be row one and it's going to mirror this. And if you try and change it, it's going to end up being something different. You know what? And I could probably uh, skip seven when I do that. No, there's seven. But it changes it here. You see that? So I can't, for some weird reason, um, it, it's duplicating that. So in any case, I just add... Two rows, so I have both. Yeah, let me just fix this back to normal. And then I set the top one to row seven so I can view what's going on. So I do have a duplicate here, but whatever. It just gives me another place to click on it. Um, if you click on this button here, you can rotate this. And what I find is, let's say we go back into here and I, you know, I move it. I'm going to want it here and then I'm going to rotate it. When I rotate it, it ends up kind of dropping it weird a little bit. See, it'll just be overlaps. So you'll just hit F12 again, drag that over to where you want it, and you're good to go. Um, so those are the basics for um, orientating and reorganizing your tray. Uh, I'd highly recommend doing that. Um, you don't have to copy mine. This is all personal preference. There's not one way that's better than another. It really just comes down to what you're comfortable with and what you like. Um, so I hope that was helpful, guys. I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter. On some of these, I'm able to do that. On others, like the last one, um, it's just not possible because of um, the depth of you know some of these abilities and how they overlap and the layers involved. So uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. Uh, join the Discord. Um, if you like the video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. I'd really appreciate that. Um, Discord, we have a uh, giveaway going that'll be pulled a week from today for an Intel Dreadnought Cruiser. 
Everybody is uh, more than welcome to join that. Um, it is PC only. Um, so if you are so inclined, go ahead and jump in there and, uh, and get in on that. Until next time, guys, have a good day and thank you for watching.